Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Can we color swap? No, we cannot color swap. Upper right in corner, we have Machine starting as the Grey Zerg. Bottom right in corner, we have React starting as the Black Protoss. This is going to be on Butter, and it is BSL Season 14 Hostile League Round of 16 Group C Winners Match. Between these two, I gotta favor Machine. The Machine is extremely strong. What's up to maybe out in chat, by the way? Good to see you. React a pretty solid player himself, but I think Machine, if I was going to call someone to make it to the finals, I, I mean, he's a former Pro League player. Just a question. It's really just a question of what machine, what, what machine, what shape is Machine in? What kind of machine is he? Is he a well-oiled machine or is the oil running dry? We will see. Pile on towards the front. We'll see if we're going to see Gateway first. We do get to see a good look at the Kakoru. Warping into Oblivion. Cruel map makers giving them their existence just to evaporate a few moments later. Butter, a fun two-player map. Machine's really been strong out of the four-hatch style. I'm going to call it the four-hatch style. I don't know if there's like an official name for what the current meta is, where it is uh, going for the three-hatch muta and then rolling back into four hatcheries. It looks like we're seeing an overpool just playing it safe thus far. We do see a gateway opener here for React. Also going to go for the probe scout behind this. Get some harassment at that natural expansion. Machine should be able to cleanly deal with this. We'll see how React's Zealot Micro is. Kind of like that. This is my first time noticing it. I kind of like that they have this nexus on this nice plateau here in the main. Zerg don't get that plateau. They just have that creep. Now I'm thinking of Radiohead all of a sudden. Probe doing some disruption at the natural expansion. Machine doesn't have quite the minerals yet. But it looks like nice delay there. And another delay. So two drones being pulled off the line and doing reacting a fantastic job here of just repetitive delay. Just moving back and forth and Machine not really handling that well. Four Zerglings being produced. Let's see if he goes up to the six. And I don't know that he even realizes that there's going to be a zealot in his face in not too long. Probe getting a lot accomplished here. So very... Several seconds delayed. And also he's droning behind this. So the Overlord now seeing the gateway. Let's see if Machine reacts with his next larva and gets a quick zergling out. But a Zealot and a Probe does beat four Zerglings. So it is possible that this Zealot could march, maybe get a drone or two. Kind of a rough opener thus far for Machine. Nexus behind this. React getting some pretty good value overall. The machine try So it looks like this Zealot is going to go ahead and trail. Well, it was going to try to trail the drone. Maybe get some disruption there. The Probe getting wiped out immediately. Now it is six versus one. The Zealot going to retreat. Potentially just to confirm that hatchery. Does confirm the hatchery. But just going to sit in the darkness. The second zealot... Oh, machine might not have realized that this other zealot was out in the field. So this zealot... Sacrificing himself. It is going to be two zealots versus six zerglings. However, a lot of damage on both of them. More zerglings out to go ahead and greet this. The zealots trying to march their way into the main to maybe sneak a drone kill or get behind that mineral line, cover each other's back and get some additional Zergling kills. Machine going for that Zergling shuffle. Unfortunately, not able to shuffle out the weak Zergling. And actually having some trouble microing his Zerglings right here. So some nice value from React overall. Forge is up, natural expansion's coming online. He's already got his cannon in place. Machine halfway to layer. Didn't lose any drones, but did have to dedicate a lot of larva to get those Zerglings out and had some trouble keeping Keeping track of it, it looks like this probe going to be able to wander out to that 9 o'clock location. Drone trick, actually machine, did he lose an overlord on the front? Maybe just supply blocking himself, so he's not playing well at all this game. So supply block right here, kind of a critical juncture, so way behind in his build order now all of a sudden. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Spire is up. The probe able to wander right in and confirm it. Not sure it's going to make much of a difference, though, because I think Machine's just going to move, make his way towards the four hatch. Cybernetic score just now coming online, though, for React. 
That's unfortunate. If Machine had one more... He might have... Honestly, I feel like he could, might have been able to pull off... Uh, with the, the timing of the Stargate, might have been able to pull off a Mutalisk Flood. But because he supply capped himself, his economy a little bit hurt. So now drone... Sorry, probe wandering up. Going to go ahead and confirm... The drone count there at the third. Looks like a third bay or a third. <laughs> Can't talk all of a sudden. Late for me too. Uh, drone in position to go ahead and plop down the fourth hatchery at the natural expansion. So it looks like it is going to be that four hatch style, but four zealots marching their way across. This base very exposed. Not a lot of zerglings there to defend. The spire not yet finished. So React might have a hole in Machine's timing here, where he can maybe get some drone kills. Looks like he's thinking better of it, gonna return to home base. Overlord's gonna spot them midfield. And a handful of Mutalis being produced. First Corsair is gonna be out momentarily. No cannons in the backfield to defend for React. He's got this one alongside that Nexus, but none in his main as of yet. He's planning a pylon to go ahead and produce some defense right there so maybe an opportunity for machine if he adds some scourge in mutalisks are out more zealots marching their way across citadel of dune is there but no leg speed a lot of zerglings have been produced and machine looks like he wants to just go for a counter attack flood through get on top of the cannons so react now eating mutalisk fire overhead as the zerglings flood to the natural expansion unfortunately machine while he was microing these mutalists over the zealot line, loses control of his zerglings. They were making their way to the natural expansion and basically loses them for nothing. So the zerglings now making their way back. Zealots splitting up forces to get maximum damage. Able to disrupt a lot of the natural expansion. The Corsair being very brave, engaging these mutalists to open up the attack of the zealots. The zealots are attacking at the main. Only a single mutalist trying to engage there. So Machine's economy really getting hammered here. But this is a huge amount of mutalists in the air now, all of a sudden. So we got eight mutalists, no Corsair that I see. And if that Corsair decided to engage, it probably got wiped out. As Zealot is able to get some, looks like got a lot of kills here at the nine o'clock. But this might provoke a counterattack. And it looks like there is, okay, there's several cannons there to defend. But these mutalists might be able to just straight up chew through it. One mutalist being dedicated to this single Zealot. This Zealot on the hunt for some drones. Wants some of that drone... I want to say meat? What kind of... What kind of meal would you say a drone is? Mutalus diving into the main. This is turning into a very chaotic match. Single Corsair trying to defend some gateways... There. Looks like the gateway... A lot of this area... Potentially attackable by machine. It looks like he's holding these Mutalisks in between. Waiting for the Scourge... To join the fray. To take out any Corsair that try to defend against this. He does have an opportunity where he can go ahead and peck away at some of this tech. It looks like he's just going to exit, though, and go after these zealots midfield. It just feels like attacks happening left and right. Unfortunately, I don't feel like Machine's getting any better of the exchanges. It looks like the single zealot just... Is this misfiring? Okay, no, that is landing. Second there, it looked like it wasn't hitting the zealot. And more attacks from React in the main, or towards the natural expansion. So React just having these zealots be absolutely everywhere buying himself some time to get a Corsair fleet up. In the pure chaos, this is the sort of chaos that Machine does not thrive in. Supply count leads still for React, but honestly, it feels like there's just been a lot of bullets dodged for him. Gateways being built, High Templar being produced. High Templar that I'm not sure are fully going to be defended, but six Corsair suddenly going to be out with plus one weapons, which is going to be a big swing. A Dark Templar now moving its way across. Looks like there is a something colony there with an overlord overhead, so I'm not sure how much that Dark Templar is going to be able to accomplish. But this is a formidable Corsair fleet. Archon's being morphed. And let's see if React can go ahead and get his army up to engage behind this. Mutalisks beware. Tr doing a great job of microing against that Archon. However, where are the rest of the Corsair? I thought I saw six. 
One Scourge landing, a single group shot there, able to pick off things otherwise. Machine getting a back out. I think he realizes that those are plus one weapons. Upgraded Corsair. There's the uh, additional Corsair. Needed you there, buddy. And React moving out with a hodgepodge army. He could get something done to the upper left-hand corner. I don't... I think it would be an overstep to go for the natural expansion here. Some Hydralisks and Scourge now being produced. Overlord speeds almost online. Let's see if this... The Scourge need to be careful because these... With the plus one weapons... Corsair do have sufficient... Well, you got five of them. I think that's sufficient numbers where they can get... Take care of that. Right now, Machine playing very sluggishly. You can see he just has troops absolutely everywhere. Is able to get another Corsair attack down. Corsair looking to... Yeah, now engaging the Mutalist. The Mutalist eating a lot of damage. Zealot's able to encounter and dispatch... Hydralisks in between, and Machine just having trouble, yeah, having the troops he wants where he wants them. Two sunk colonies are going to force the rest of Yak's army back, however, reinforcement's coming. Machine just struggling. Mutalisks eating a lot of damage overhead. Additional Corsair being wiped out. The Zealots marching in. These Mutalisks just, if they get tapped, might get taken out. More Hydralisks getting pinned in between, attacking the Corsairs rather than dealing with the Zealots that are right in front of their face, and it looks like they're going to go wiped out. The drones being pulled out of the upper left-hand corner. This is almost like one of those matches where I'm like, Machine, did you match fix this? Did someone bet on this? Not playing up to his caliber of, of typical play here. Hatchery maybe can be defended by these... Mutalists, but it looks like the Zealots just going to punch through and wipe that out. So React able to wipe out a critical base. Reinforcements look like they're streaming across, but they're going to back off now. React really opening things up for him. Self. Getting Dragoon range up and running robotic facility to turn things about. But he's really stymied Machine's economy. 80 supply to 75. Just troops all over the place for Machine, as you can see. The Mutalist is not long for life. I'm looking for one more Corsair. Honestly, one or two more Corsair, and that they could just... Maybe just these Dragoons on top of everything else could really pop those Mutalists. Plus two weapons online. Versus the plus one weapons for Machine. Machine is starting to macro up. Finding his footing, starting to surge forward, working on Lurker Tech. And now finding... Now looking more like the Machine we know and love. As you can see, kind of that stream getting a little bit more cohesive in the middle of the map. More bunching of Hydralisks, and now it's looking a lot crisper. Over, it looks like React does have that sufficient army. Machine grabbing another base in the upper left-hand corner. Engaging. Looking to pick off some Mutalists, only, or some High Templar, only loses... React only loses a single High Templar for all that effort. Good side storms. Decent dodge from Machine. And now just trying to spread out and hold the high ground. React easily going to be able to establish his third base. As I say easily, it was everything that it took up to this stage of the match. Machine down 20 supply. Good situation for React overall. And React looking pretty solid here. A lot of High Templar, a lot of energy. The Mutalists have been wiped out. Doesn't look like Machine's making movements to go ahead and readjust them. That third gas has been debilitated for a long period of this match. Lurker's now trying to establish the high ground. I do believe the Observer will be out there shortly if it's not already on its way out on the map. I'm trying to look to see if there's that shimmer. Additional Archons being morphed. Machine trying to crawl his way down. He does have Overlord Speed looking to maybe snipe latent Observers and maybe get some form of contain on the southern portion of the map. Throwing some additional Lurkers. More Zealots moving out. Great Psy Storm. And as I say that, actually, maybe not. A bit of a whiff. Psy Storm's not being spent where we want it to. The Observer coming in from that right-hand side. The Zealots marching up, getting the surround. Have eaten a lot of damage. That's a nice Lurker field. The Observer a bit on delay. Machine, not in a position where Machine can really pick it off, but he is able to clear out all of those Zealots. 
Sidestorm up to the left. Looks like Machine able to pick off an Observer. So it's going to allow these last two Lurkers to hold. Fourth base is up, but not yet saturated. More units streaming across the middle of the map. Still single evolution chamber, plus two weapons just now coming online. We act now with this observer without the reinforcements, gonna march forward, sidestorming his own zealots a little bit, trying to push up to the high ground. The zealots eating a lot of fire. The overlord picked off. There are more overlords to go ahead and replace it to maybe expose that observer that is the weak point of React's army eating a little bit of his own sidestorm. Hydra is sweeping out underneath, hoping to pick off High Templar. This army a little bit stranded, potentially. The Hydra is actually just going to try to march an attack with their cannons to the bottom left. React going to repivot and wipe out those Hydralisks. Machine buying himself some time at least to go ahead and get some creep colonies down hasn't grabbed that fourth gas as of yet unfortunately i think he was hoping for a lurker contained situation here off kind of mid game five hash hydra play and he is not finding it react instead out on the map with the supply lead with a huge upgrade lead level three weapons and is potentially threatening this fourth base hydra is piling in there lurker's not yet in position now burrowing, but this is really a very Sistormable army. And React is right there. This is going to be a tough defense. We'll see the High Templar are in the rear, Machine in the red, so he's going to have trouble reinforcing this. React regrouping his army, try loses the High Templar, having trouble just positioning to engage this location. And with that, just going to back off. Maybe go ahead and call that a win, grab his fourth. More zealots marching across to go ahead and reinforce. Missed opportunity there, I feel like, from React. Just not able to position his army the way he had hoped. Queen's Nest is down. Second Evolution Chamber there to potentially play some upgrades, but no movement towards Hive yet from Machine. It looks like just now upgrading Hive. Double Creep Colony on the front. React might have more luck with his 30 Supply Lead and Psystorm here at the Natural. Lurker's eating a lot of Psystorm before they're able to scatter. Zealots pressing in, Hydralis marching in from the left-hand side, though. Gonna shove that army back. And React, once again, go ahead. Going ahead and backing off. It looks like there's a single Hydralis might be able to deny React's fourth base. His main is mined out. So his natural expansion is looking thin, so might end up in a, starva a potential starvation situation here. So Hive along the way, Machine shelled up. Working on the Carapace and... Basically wanting to get that Crackling upgrade ASAP. Deal with these Dragoons and High Templar and everything else late game. Fourth base. Looks like, did that Zealot march in? Who got the kill on the Hydralis? Or did the Hydralis just run away? Like a coward. Some units fanning across to go ahead and grab this upper three. React pushing in. Hydralis waiting here to morph to go ahead and delay. Zealot's able to sneak through the gap though. Observer's getting picked off. An additional Hydralis here to go ahead and defend and swat the rest of this army. The egg is breached, but bought enough time for Machine to go ahead and establish that high ground. Push the rest of that army back. Hydral's fanning out again. A bit of an empty sidestorm on the high ground. Yeah, I think that was a complete whiff. So React now, going to be able to grab his fourth, which will put him at two mining bases versus Machine's four mining bases. Machine going for a Defiler Mount. Rather than Ultralis Cavern here, he does have four gas. I think these, this is four pure gas. That None of them are... Looks like the extractor at his main is just about mined out. And he is going to be able to grab another gas here at this 2 o'clock base. React with the 30 supply lead. Still with a decent upgrade advantage. Zerglings marching out. It does not look like they have the crackling upgrade as of yet. But able to at least highly damage a latent Dragoon. And really not threatening any territory as of yet on machine side of the map. So it looks like this could be a map split scenario. 
which means that 9 o'clock and that 3 o'clock location are going to be critical for either player to deny or hold. Some Zerglings may be able to slip through somehow. React. Ooh. Not realizing the scariness that was ahead of him. Or really, maybe Psystormable. Opportunity here. No Defiler. So I see the Defiler Mound out. I don't see any Defilers as of yet on the field. The Zergling upgrades are in place. This is where they start trading fairly well versus Zealots and Dragoons. Hydralisks. A lot of sides for our machine. Not quite realizing React's army positioning. So it loses a lot of Lurkers and a lot of Hydralisks. Huge amount of size storm and React just barreling through mid-map now. This is usually the, the portion of the game that Machine dominates, the late game. The Machine right now, stymied at various points, React way ahead. 60 supply lead, threatening all corners. Throwing some size storm, forcing some Zerglings on auto attack to engage. The Zealot's now marching forward into the Lurkers. Natural expansion potentially exposed. This is a lot of Dragoons behind this, and there are no Zerglings. The Defiler mount is here. It looks like Consume just finished upgrading. There is a single Defiler that maybe can save the day. But unfortunately, has nothing to consume. So potentially too little, too late. Plus Side Storm along that right-hand edge. And the Dark Swarm is not in position to go ahead and defend this natural expansion, plus additional Side Storm being dropped, actually helping the Dragoons against the Hydralisks here. They're going to back out of that Lurker line, machine sending troops from all directions to try to engage and slow React down. It does not look like it. It looks like it's just to no avail, however. Machine at half the supply of React, so needs to rely on those Dark Swarms, but more High Temple are walking up. Zealots and Dark Temple are reinforcing a single Lurker and a Sim City defending this natural expansion now for Machine. Reinforcements coming from the left, but it is just scattered and few in number. React still holding with this army. Able to clear out the rest of the Lurkers, now moving into that natural expansion, Psy storming defenders over that wall. And it looks like he is going to be able to breach. This is potentially the GG moment for Machine as he just does not have enough to defend. This critical mass of troops. Archons in your natural expansion are just a scary sight. There's GG. And React takes game one. That is not the player who I would have called to take this uh, initial match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.